Darth Sidious was by far one of the most powerful characters in the whole of Star Wars, with not only immense abilities at using a lightsaber, but also unbelievable power in the Force to the extent that he was able to single-handedly keep the entire galaxy in check and stop multiple opponents from overthrowing him. However, despite his many years of study in the dark side, there was one Force ability that Palpatine simply failed to master, regardless of his efforts. A Force Dyad is a strange occurrence which happens when two Force users share an unbreakable bond, merging them into a singular entity within the Force. This profound connection, similar to the essence of life itself, could span through time and space, allowing members to be deeply attuned to each other's senses and possess unique Force abilities. This was a gateway to unstoppable power which, if Sidious had attained it, would have led to his empire being almost everlasting, since no mortal would be able to overthrow him. The doctrine of the Dyad is integral to the rich lore of the Sith, prophesizing the emergence of such a powerful connection from its beginning. This hidden power came to light during a historical period marked by political upheaval and conflict. The doctrine emphasizes the Dyad's significance within the Sith Order, as inscribed on the walls of a Sith Citadel. Previous attempts to artificially create a Dyad within the Sith were unsuccessful, revealing that this potent connection naturally forms between individuals. Sidious attempted to form this unthinkable bond with his apprentice, Darth Vader, but failed horribly. Little did he know, many years later his granddaughter Rey and Vader's grandson Ben would form their own dyad, which would then be used to eliminate Sidious himself, not only ruining his scheme to cheat death and rule as the Emperor eternally, but also ended decades of deception, training and murder. He could master everything, but this one power he lacked ended up leading to his complete downfall. Such an ironic tale, and a funny move from the Force to split Palpatine's failed dyad attempt back at him with both he and Vader's descendants. And another cool little detail is, as far as we know so far, in canon, force healing may only be available to those within a dyad, but that's not confirmed, it's just a little theory, and I think it's probably true, and they're probably going to need it to be true, if not, why well, wasn't Qui-Gon healed in The Phantom Menace? Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, join the Star Force 1 Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.